Good morning, everyone. It's Jack representing Coaster Studios today here at Dollywood as we check out all the additions and changes they're making for the 2021 season. We got a fun walking tour planned, so let's go check it out. We obviously have been looking at Lightning Rod and uh, its performance for the last couple of years. And, you know, it was running, you know, about 70% of the mm -hmm. time. And it was important to us to bring it up to the same standard that we have for the rest of the coasters in the park, which is about 94%. So what you have right now is kind of the ultimate hybrid. You've got uh, a wood structure that's supporting an eye box on two thirds of the ride and a stack track with a topper track on the remaining one. The uh, launch is going to be consistent. And that eye box track on the launch, there will be vir virtually no movement. So it'll be a consistent launch every time that the ride goes. So as we've seen so far, lots of stuff happening. We've looked at Lightning Rod. Now we're heading up Craftsman's Valley to go check out some of the progress that's been made on just various park improvements. There's a lot happening at Dollywood this off season. We're probably not even noticed it, but I'm going to say it anyway, just because you can see the mud. We chopped the structure of this retail shop off a little bit and re and rebuilt it so that we can provide a better walkway surface you know pretty standard to use a 20-foot walkway midway you know to make it easier to get around the park so i doubt anyone's going to notice the store was retooled you know for that purpose to provide a little bit more space and then behind you'll see a new uh, seating structure for the hickory house barbecue one of the best places to grab barbecue on property, but the only problem was is that there wasn't a lot of seats to enjoy your food. So we really concentrated on delivering some incremental seating, you know, to improve uh, the guest experience. So behind me is what used to be the blacksmith shop. Now it's gonna be a new seating area for uh, Hickory House, which is probably the best barbecue place in the park. Uh, yeah, quite a change. Uh, the path is a lot wider now gonna be really easy to move through here and we also just over here have a giant crane just rolling by right now so again a lot of stuff happening at Dolly this off season that's a fun question people always say what in the world do you do <laughs> you know when the park is closed do you take vacation we actually get busier in the off season than we are in our regular you know daily occurrence of delivering the day with excellence because of all of the work that happens in the off season to keep our brand at its highest level. Our lightning rod attraction is getting an entirely brand new track. And we really took a hard look at what we could do to make this ride run consistently. It's gonna be a really smooth and repeatable experience. So that's gonna be a huge accomplishment for our maintenance and attractions teams. I can't wait to show the public what it's gonna be like. One of the most iconic structures that we have on property and one of the most unique places is the chapel. And we're giving the church a brand new facelift, a brand new roof structure and repaired all of the footers for the church and it's gonna get a new paint job. And I think we're gonna have it looking very pretty for the 2021 season. Hickory House is one of our famous barbecue places on property and it was right across the street from the American Eagle Foundation. But it was always really difficult to be able to see the eagles and enjoy a meal from the Hickory House. So we're transplanting the blacksmith shop down to the old pottery barn and giving them a brand new environment to work from. It's gonna be able to be more interactive for the guests to be able to see our craftsmen's firsthand. And we're having a new dining area for the Hickory House. It's gonna provide a lot more comfortable, you know, seating for our guests enjoying themselves at the Hickory House. You'll notice that there's a whole brand new flooring system at Front Porch Cafe that we put in to make it a lot easier for our guests to get in and out of that building in a more comfortable way. The flower and food, it's an amazing, immersive 
experience to see. One of the fun elements that we're adding into it is a chalk experience, not only for you know the kids that are arriving, but we're going to have some chalk artists that are going to be you know doing some art along the sidewalks. The entertainment program that's coming up in the flower and food, we're theming it to the melodies of spring. Think of it as very inspirational music and lots of live acts to support you know, that umbrella theme. We're not only gonna be activating our indoor theaters again, but we're also not gonna lose what we gained with our outdoor entertainment venues. On March the 13th, we get to open our 2021 season. So I'm really looking forward to it. I know our entire team is really excited about welcoming everyone to the Dollywood Parks and Resorts.